So for this question, I'm asked to graph six vectors in the field v of x, y equals zero, negative x. Okay, well, let's just pick a point and start. I'm going to say one, zero. Well, I know that my i component is going to be zero, so I'm not traveling, traveling horizontally at all. And then my j component is going to be the negative x value of that point. Well, here x is 1, so my j component is going to be negative 1. So I have a little vector like that, one unit long, pointing downwards. Now let's try 2, 3. Well, again, my i component is 0, and my j component is the opposite of x, so negative 2. So I'm going to have a vector 2 units long that points downward. Now let's try negative 3, negative 1. Again, i component is 0, j component is going to be the opposite of x, so here the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So now I have a vector of length 3 pointing up. Let's do the same thing for negative 1, 3. Again, no i component, j component is going to be the opposite of x, so positive 1. So a little one unit vector pointing up. Let's try 4, 1. Well, my j component here is going to be the opposite of the x value, so negative 4 and i is still 0. Okay, let's try one more. How about 3, negative 2? Again, i is 0, j is going to be the opposite of my x value, so negative 3. So, in general, we can see that the vector field is only dependent on the x coordinate, and the closer we get to the origin, the shorter the vectors are. The farther away we get, the longer their magnitude. And then for positive x values, all the vectors are going to point downward. And then for negative x values, all the vectors point up. 